Mmm. Mmm. God, I love marrow. Mmm. Remember mom with a bone? Sounded like half price day at the liposuction center. Please, yeah. It's nice. Us having dinner together. Catching up. I'm just glad I'm in a position to do it. Chocolate souffle. Oh. Gelato. Sorbet sampler. On the house. Like some for after dinner. I got a nice armagnac. Ouch. Mm. I used to drink that in France. Histamines. Oh, I uh I think it's good. Oh, I know, Tony. Can I have a Nonino pickle? I know it's expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring me one too. So you and Bobby Bacala, huh? So that's it. What is so fucking compelling to you about my personal business? Jesus Christ, am I such an ogre? I was just gonna say he's a nice guy. I salute. I gotta have an agenda? No, Tony. I'm sorry. And what am I, a toxic person? You're a great brother. I mean, we can go at it pretty good, but... you always seem to reach out when it counts. Yeah? Did you ever know anybody that uh, ever committed suicide? Mm, funny. I used to live in Seattle, Tony. Anybody uh, close? Murray Furlong. It's a good, good friend. He lived upstairs. People said he was in the CIA, gone for long periods of time. And I always thought he was gay. I don't know. Maybe that's not mutually exclusive. But anyway. One day, poof, he sucked down the end of a deer rifle. Do you feel responsible? Well, yeah, I did. You know, partly, we, we all did. My last conversation with him was an argument, if you can call it that, about him always asking me to accept FedEx packages for him. But you never really know why. Probably was his name. <laughs> Due grappini. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, you can leave the bottle. And, uh, Artie, put that on my table. Of course. 